expedition. KCCI's Kim St. Anj is live in Ankeny tonight. Kim, what do investigators say happened here? Iowa State Patrol says Raider was heading west here on 3rd Street and Officer Jeffrey Davis. Take a look. He was heading north here on South Ankeny Boulevard with his sirens and lights on. The biggest question investigators are trying to figure out right now, who had the green light? Investigators had to use the jaws of life to pry Peter Rader out of his truck after the Ankeny police officer T-boned him in a busy Ankeny intersection. His sirens were on, his lights were on. He was going Amina Kremich was walking into work at the nearby U.S. Bank when she described seeing the cop car speed by. You could hear the tires screeching. You could hear just the big bang. And then it took me maybe five seconds to walk from where I was at to get into view and it was done. Hundreds of drivers in Ankeny were rerouted for several hours this morning. And then for about three hours past that, all of our customers coming in were having to park a few blocks away because everything was just so blocked off. The Iowa State Patrol says officials are required to always use caution going through intersections and having lights and sirens on doesn't put them above the law. You don't want to fault the other driver or fault the, the police officer or make excuses because if, if he's going to a call, you need to be aware of your surroundings and do it safely. Sergeant Nathan Ludwig says bottom line, in order to prevent accidents like this, we can all do a better job of paying attention behind the wheel. Until you can actually empathize with this officer and put yourself in his shoes, you don't know what it was like at the time at the scene and what the conditions were like.